In a serene valley, nestled between towering mountains and lush green forests, there existed a monastery that was known far and wide for its teachings on peace and inner tranquility. This monastery had stood for centuries, a beacon of calmness in a world often consumed by turmoil. The monks who lived there had dedicated their lives to the study of Zen and Buddhist philosophy, and their wisdom was sought by people from all walks of life. At the heart of this monastery was an ancient tree, its roots digging deep into the earth, its branches reaching high into the sky. The monks often gathered beneath this tree for meditation and reflection. The tree, in its quiet grandeur, had witnessed the passage of time and had been a silent observer of countless teachings and revelations. One day, a young man arrived at the monastery. His eyes were filled with a mixture of determination and sorrow. He had traveled far, seeking solace from the inner turmoil that had plagued him for years. He had heard stories of the monastery and its teachings, and he believed that within its walls, he might find the peace he so desperately sought. The young man approached the head monk, a venerable figure whose calm demeanor seemed to radiate an unshakable serenity. Bowing deeply, the young man spoke, Master, I have come seeking guidance. My mind is a storm of emotions. Anger, fear, and doubt consume me. I have tried to calm my mind, but no matter what I do, these emotions overpower me. I wish to learn how to act as if nothing bothers me, to find the inner peace that I know exists within me but seems so distant. The head monk, who had heard similar pleas from countless others, smiled gently. He gestured for the young man to sit with him beneath the ancient tree. As they sat in silence for a moment, the head monk began to speak, to act as if nothing bothers you, the monk said softly, is not about suppressing or ignoring your emotions. It is about understanding the nature of these emotions and realizing that they are transient. Like the clouds in the sky, they come and go. The key is to anchor your mind, just as this ancient tree anchors itself in the earth, unshaken by the winds that blow through its branches, the young man listened intently, his heart aching to understand the wisdom behind these words. The head monk continued, there is a story that has been passed down through generations in this monastery. It is the story of a monk who, despite facing many trials and tribulations, learned to maintain his calm in the face of adversity. Perhaps this story will help you in your journey, the young man nodded eagerly, and the head monk began the tale, in a time long ago, there was a monk who lived in this very monastery. He was known for his wisdom and his deep understanding of Zen teachings. Despite his knowledge, however, he struggled with one aspect of his practice, he was easily disturbed by the actions of others. If someone spoke harshly to him, he would become upset. If someone acted unjustly, he would feel anger rising within him. He knew that these emotions were hindering his spiritual growth, but he could not seem to overcome them. One day, the monk decided to seek the guidance of the abbot, an elderly monk who was revered for his profound insight and unshakable calm. The abbot listened patiently as the monk explained his struggles, Master, the monk said, I have studied the teachings diligently, and I understand them in my mind. Yet, when faced with real situations, I cannot maintain my calm. My emotions take over, and I act in ways that I know are not in accordance with the Dharma. How can I learn to act as if nothing bothers me, no matter what happens around me, the abbot looked at the monk with compassionate eyes. It is good that you recognize this struggle, he said. Awareness is the first step toward transformation. But remember, acting as if nothing bothers you does not mean being indifferent or numb. 
It means cultivating a mind that is so deeply rooted in peace that external circumstances cannot disturb it, the abbot then told the monk to follow him. They walked together to a secluded area of the monastery grounds, where a large boulder stood. The abbot pointed to the boulder and asked, What do you see? The monk replied, I see a large boulder, solid and unmovable. The abbot nodded. Indeed. This boulder has stood here for centuries, unaffected by the wind, the rain, or the changes in the seasons. It does not react to anything that happens around it. This is how your mind should be, solid and unmovable. Unaffected by the changing circumstances of life. The monk frowned, feeling a bit frustrated. But master, I am not a boulder. I am a human being with emotions. How can I become like this boulder? The abbot smiled knowingly. You are right. You are not a boulder. But the mind can be trained to become like one, steady, calm, and unshaken. To do this, you must understand the nature of your emotions and learn to observe them without attachment. The abbot then gave the monk a task. Every day, I want you to sit by this boulder and meditate. As you meditate, observe your thoughts and emotions as they arise, but do not become attached to them. Let them come and go, just as the clouds pass by in the sky. Over time, you will learn to cultivate a mind that is as steady as this boulder. The monk did as he was instructed. Every day, he sat by the boulder and meditated. At first, it was difficult. His mind was restless, and his emotions seemed more intense than ever. But he persisted, following the abbot's guidance to observe his thoughts and emotions without attachment. As the weeks turned into months, the monk began to notice a change within himself. His mind was becoming calmer, and he found that he was less reactive to the things that once bothered him. When someone spoke harshly to him, he no longer felt the same surge of anger. When faced with injustice, he could maintain his composure and respond with wisdom rather than emotion. One day, as the monk sat in meditation by the boulder, he experienced a profound realization. He understood that his emotions were like ripples on the surface of a pond. When a stone is thrown into the water, the ripples appear, but they eventually fade away, leaving the water still once more. His emotions were the same, they arose in response to external events, but they were not permanent. By observing them without attachment, he could allow them to pass without disturbing the stillness of his mind. With this realization, the monk felt a deep sense of peace. He had finally learned the art of acting as if nothing bothered him, not by suppressing his emotions, but by understanding their true nature and allowing them to come and go without attachment, the monk returned to the abbot and shared his realization. The abbot smiled, pleased with the monk's progress. You have learned an important lesson, he said. Remember, the goal is not to become emotionless, but to cultivate a mind that is so deeply rooted in peace that nothing can disturb it. This is the true meaning of acting as if nothing bothers you, the monk continued to practice this teaching, and over time, he became known throughout the monastery for his unshakable calm. No matter what challenges he faced, he remained composed and centered, a living example of the wisdom he had attained, years passed, and the monk grew older. His reputation as a wise and serene teacher spread far beyond the monastery, and people came from distant lands to seek his guidance. He shared with them the lessons he had learned, always emphasizing the importance of cultivating a mind that is steady and unshaken by the changing circumstances of life. One day, a young woman came to the monastery. She was distraught, her face etched with worry and fear. 
She approached the monk, who was now the abbot of the monastery, and bowed deeply, Master, she said, her voice trembling. I am overwhelmed by the difficulties in my life. I feel as if I am constantly being battered by the storms of emotion, anger, fear, and sorrow. How can I find peace when everything around me is so chaotic? The abbot looked at the young woman with compassion. He recognized the same struggle that he had faced many years ago. He took her to the boulder that had been his place of meditation and asked her to sit with him, as they sat in silence, the abbot spoke. When I was young, I too was overwhelmed by my emotions. But I learned that these emotions, like the storms that pass through the valley, are temporary. They come and go, but they do not define who we are. The key is to anchor your mind, like this boulder, so that no matter what happens around you, you remain steady and calm, the young woman listened, tears welling up in her eyes. But how can I do that, Master? My emotions feel so powerful. So overwhelming, the abbot smiled gently. It is not about suppressing your emotions, but about observing them without attachment. Sit by this boulder each day and meditate. Watch your emotions as they arise, but do not cling to them. Let them pass, just as the clouds pass by in the sky. Over time, you will find that your mind becomes like this boulder, steady, calm, and unshaken, the young woman nodded, grateful for the abbot's guidance. She followed his advice and began to meditate by the boulder each day. As the weeks and months passed, the young woman began to notice a transformation within herself. Her once turbulent mind grew calm, and the storms of emotion that once overwhelmed her now felt like distant echoes. She learned to observe her feelings without being consumed by them, allowing them to rise and fall like waves on the surface of the ocean. One day, as she sat by the boulder, she realized that the same worries and fears that had once seemed so insurmountable now held no power over her. She had found a stillness within, a quiet strength that anchored her, no matter the chaos around her, she returned to the abbot, her heart filled with gratitude. Master, she said softly, I have found the peace I sought. I now understand how to act as if nothing bothers me, not by denying my emotions, but by embracing them and letting them pass without attachment, the abbot nodded, his eyes filled with warmth. You have learned well, he said. Remember, true peace comes not from avoiding life's challenges, but from cultivating a mind that remains steady in the face of them. Carry this lesson with you always, with these words, the young woman bowed deeply, her heart light with the knowledge she had gained. She left the monastery, carrying the wisdom of the ancient teachings within her, ready to face the world with a mind that was unshakable, no matter what life might bring, and so, the wisdom of the boulder, the ancient tree, and the teachings of Zen and Buddhism continued to ripple outward, touching the lives of all who sought to cultivate a mind that could weather any storm and remain calm, unshaken, and at peace. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.